Hello everyone, this is DA from A Academy, and today we are going to see normed spaces. As we know about vector spaces, topological spaces, and metric spaces, and the concept behind is that if we have a space like this, then it is said to be a vector space if it satisfied the 10 axioms and five of them are of addition and the rest of are related to the scalar multiplications. And similarly, if it is a space and it's, this space is said to be a topological space, if it satisfies the three axioms, uh, the very first of is the existence of the empty set and the whole set or space uh, like this, and an intersection and the union, so you know all of it. So similarly, going in the same way, if we have a space like this, then this space is said to be normed space if it satisfies some of the axioms. But before going to word axioms, let's give a few seconds to the meaning of it. That we all know when talking about the norm of a vector, that if we have a vector v, and we are going to find the norm of this vector, represented by the double bars, and the answer will be a, a scalar. And this scalar is eventually the length of this vector. So the norm is considered to be the length of a vector and the length is obviously a scalar quantity. So we can say that norm is a function that takes vector as an input and gives a scalar as output. So we can form a function from a space to a scalar like this. So here's the representation. The function is represented by the bars because norm is represented by the two bars and and the door represents the element that was under consideration. N is, is the space and R is that scalar from where the output is. So this space N is said to be a norm space if it satisfies some of the axioms and because a space must be have underlying field so the field may be real numbers or the complex numbers it depends on the nature of the function or or the input that was taken out so so here we have n as a linear space over any field f that may be real numbers or or the complex numbers so a norm on n that is a function so a function from n to r and if this is a norm function, then it must satisfy the following axioms. So the very first axiom is, if we take any element from the space n, and the element is represented by x here, if x is an element that was taken from the space, then the norm of that x must be positive, or at least it is zero. It can't be negative. As the definition of the length says that uh, all of the lengths of a vector must be positive or zero. And if we say that we have a vector x or element from the space whose norm is zero, then the vector or the element that was taken from the n is also zero. So the first axiom is for all of the elements that was taken from the space, the norm of all of the elements must be greater than or equal to zero and if the norm of any element that was taken from the space n is zero then we can say that the vector or the element is zero and this is also true in the converse that if any element is zero then its norm or the length is also zero and the second axiom is if we have a scalar a and an element of n that is x and we are going to take the norm of the scalar multiplication, then this must be equal to the magnitude of that scalar because scalar can be negative. And so that's why we're taking the magnitude of this scalar with the norm of that x. So this whole thing must be equal to. So from where this a comes from, a was the element of the field that was underlying field from the space n. So this is the second axiom uh, for this normed space. And the third axiom is, so if we have a sum of the two elements from the n 
space n and we're going to see the norm of this element from n uh, so this thing must be less than to the norm of x plus the norm of y because we are here using the triangular inequality. So the individual norms of two elements from n must be greater than the sum of the two elements and then taking the norm of it. So there are the three axioms that must be followed by this to be a normed space. The very first is that the norm must be greater than or equal to zero, the norm must be positive, or if the norm is zero, then we can say that the element is zero, and the same for the converse. The second is if we're going to see the norm of a scalar multiplication a and x, where a is a member of the field, then it must be equal to the magnitude of the scalar with the norm of x. And the third is of the triangular inequality, there we are going to see the norm of two elements, the addition of the two elements from the space n, that must be less than the individual norms of the two elements of, of the space and then taking the sum of it. So if this function, there is a norm, uh, satisfy these three properties, then we can say that the pair of the norm with the space is equal to a normed space or we can say that a norm linear space. So this is for now, we're looking for more such videos and you can subscribe this channel in order to watch more upcoming videos. We will meet in the next video. Till then, take care. Goodbye.